not true, so the that's Bible's lying. No, the Bible's not lying. So let's read it again, and I want you to interpret it this time. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the, what, what does that mean? That means that all people are okay. holy unto the Lord. Yes, we absolutely did. Bring it up. Absolutely. So when you say holy, okay, let's bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These were the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on the side of Jordan in the wilderness. So who is the most I speaking to? Israel, right? He's talking to the Israelites. Israelites. So but when the he speaks, Israelites were only a part. Okay, give me that little bit. Yeah, it's 20, it's 20, it's 20. But, you know, the most high, the most high, I, I understand. That's not true. I mean, the most high clearly said he separated the nation, so. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta merge that together. Okay, let's bring it up. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter twenty and verse twenty-six. And ye shall be holy unto me. Right. Okay. So there's that holy word again, right? And he said, "Holy nation." Right. Yeah. Watch this. He said, "Ye." Who is he speaking to? He's speaking to the Israelites, right? So keep going. It says, "It says, and ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have severed you." from other people that ye should be mine. So the most high severed who? The Israelites, right? He separated the Israelites in order for them to be cleansed so that they can go Sister, bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 8. With the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. Hold on now. The Most High, the Most High did what? With the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. So the Most High divides, right? The Most High divides. Separated. When He separated the sons of Adam. He separated the sons of Adam. I know that. According to the number of the children of Israel, for the Lord's portion is His people. Jacob is the lot of His inheritance. So who is the only people with God? Who? The Most High separated who to Himself? Israelite. Okay, so that excludes everybody else, correct? Okay. Yes. The Israelites were the center of his uh, speaking for right now. He was trying to unite them to bring them into the fold. Sister, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta break down that scripture. You say he separated the Israelites. Now bring them into the It's the book of Amos, chapter three, from the top of the NLT. Listen to this message. That the Lord has spoken against you, O people of Israel and Judah. So who is he, who is he, who is he speaking to? He's, he's speaking about the Israelites okay. and their, their the entire family. pagan beliefs. Okay. You said the Israelites. You know the that? entire family I rescued from Egypt. From among all the families of the earth, I chose you alone. Who did he choose? I chose you alone. So did he choose the Israelites alone? Alone because they were... Sister, you added to the text. You okay. add to the text. Your interpretation of the Bible is yours. Right. Mine is mine. Okay. The Lord Watch this. Says this is the book of Joel, all. chapter 2, and verse 27. Okay, we got another one. And he shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. In the midst of who? In, in the midst of Israel. Okay. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. So whose God is who whose God is your house? I'm sorry. Who's the most high? Who's the most high's people? Who's his God? Who are, who, who is his people? Well, see, that's that's the difference. I, I mean, I'm I reading the book. Everybody. We reading no, the book. Excuse me, I read the book. Right, but we giving you two or three, even four witnesses, and you still saying this is our own private interpretation. So it's your interpretation Sister, that's different. You're reading the book. You you cannot this is the book of Joel, chapter two, and uh, verse twenty-seven. Uh, you should know that I am in the midst of Israel. In the midst of Israel. And that, and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. He's only the He's only the God of Israel, correct? According to the Bible. Oh, According to the Bible. Why are you questioning? Because, because this is the Bible. You're trying to say that the only uh, worthy people were the Israel? I'm reading really what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. Sister, okay. then you Thank got an issue you. with this. You got an issue Thank with this. Thank you. Bring it up. This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, yep. and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Yep. 
All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, so so the Israelites, the world is made for their sake. He's going to ask for the other people, which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they, they are, are nothing, nothing, but be like unto spittle. It has like the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So the most I don't give a damn about these other nations. Simple as that. The sister says she reads the Bible, and then we, we read it to her, and then she tells us that's our own interpretation. So we say, okay, we go to three or four different witnesses, and she still says it's our perfect interpretation. Sister, we got a spirit on you. Bring it up. verse 28, from the top. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. She, she started getting cut. She was speechless for a second and had to gather her thoughts, and then she said, all right, no, it's time for me to do it. Right? Now we were trying to have her relax. I think it's just to